All right, today we're going to talk about this video, um, Doubting Rumor, There Is Nothing. This is one of the creepiest videos I've ever fucking seen. Um, but yeah, we're just going to kind of talk about it. And then, uh... Yeah. Now, now this is fucking Anthem. super weird. This is, like, pretty much like how I feel during Thanksgiving. Rip. Not gonna lie. Now, the, this is so weird, like, like how it has it to where, like, you're looking at it. Like, you look at the bowl, it's got that shit, like, directly looking at it, like... You're like on a dinner date with this crazy chick. I think that's just such a weird perspective. You know. This is what dating is like in West Virginia. It's the perfect summary of what dating is like in West Virginia. Minus the fire outside. But that's just getting me ready for my afterlife. I'm okay with that. Yes. Now, now that's like a super crazy video, and I always watched it, and I was just like confused as hell. I never understood like the meaning, but hear me out, right? This is directly from the author, right? Of all the films I have made, perhaps the most obscure one has has the largest impact. Dining rumor there is nothing. Hold on, let me stop this one. Dining rumor or there is nothing. Uh, instantly went viral in the pre-YouTube days with more than f 5 million downloads. Since then, it has been reviewed in excess of 10 million times. Usually appears in any top 10's list of creepier, scary videos or films. It has been anonymous, enormous, enormously entertaining experience reading the very many conspiracy theories written about it and to watch it gain in popularity steadily over time. Something of a rarity in YouTube, I think. The film flips back on itself at exactly the midway point. The film begins to run backwards, and the sound repeats itself backwards with it. The character speaks the three words as the film goes forwards, so that then they can be ciphered at the end of the film when they are played backwards. When looped, there is no actual beginning of the end, and no real sense of where the beginning and end actually are. This piece was inspired by personal paradoxical paradoxical desire for imp for proof that there is nothing on the other side of life i wanted to blur the distinction between the two states and to state the paradox by showing someone who is coming back from life for death and denies his existence therefore fulfilling the paradox so i guess like the video is just showing like a paradox of like just like that like if if life truly does exist like that then it could just constantly repeat itself and you would just never truly know like if you died today then you could be reborn tomorrow and it would just repeat and repeat and repeat or vice versa there would just be nothing and it could just be the same thing like i don't i don't really know exactly like what they're meaning like but i, I get like the gist of it you know what i mean but I just think that's such a weird, obscure video. And I remember watching that. And like, it says it's from 2016. But I swear, I saw it, like, forever ago. I think the re-upload was, like, the dude just uploaded to his main channel in 2016. But I swear I saw it before then. But, yeah, it's such a strange video. Like... But yeah, what what y'all's thoughts on that video? I think it's just a, a really nice loop. Like, just the way that loop's done is really haunting. And I remember, like, seeing that video for the first time and just being, like, fucking creeped out. And the chick kind of reminded me of the chick from uh, the Pet Cemetery movies. And I was just like, man, this bitch is crazy looking. But yeah, I think the shit's shocking, though. Um, And, like... I kind of, like, feel that way, too. Like, I kind of feel like if we die, it could be in a loop, and, like, we just wouldn't notice. Um, I've heard, like, weird conspiracy theories about, like, shit like that, and just... I don't know. I think it's just a very strange video. 
and um, yeah, it and it kind of just like reminds me of Thanksgiving. Like, it just reminds me of like fucking sitting at Thanksgiving and just being stuck there in a purgatory state that just never ends. I know that's not the meaning is like, but that's that's just what it reminds me of, like this seasonal depression and uh, being st- stuck listening to my fucking aunt talk about soap and ask me what my business plans are and then me trying to explain what affiliate marketing is for the fucking 50th time. That's it. That's that's the loop of the fucking paradox of no one being able to understand what the fuck affiliate marketing is. That's 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 what it reminds me of. Just trying to explain to my family what affiliate marketing is for the 25th fucking time. But yeah, shout out JList, shout out Play Asia. If you want to click my affiliate links and buy one of these coffee mugs, go for it. They're straight bangers. But yeah, I'm going to anna- um, go look at more creepy ass videos. And I think I'm going to do a couple of these just to kind of spice up the channel. Like, I feel like we've kind of just like put ourselves in a box and I'm just going to kind of chop our way out of that shit, you know what I mean? But a uh, shout out j shout out PlayAsia, and most importantly, check out Creepy Co. too. We got like some bangers, some new merch over there too. And uh, I'm, I might look into some more affiliate marketing shit, and I might actually do a video on affiliate marketing and just break it down to you, some of my favorite affiliate links and products and different shit like that. But yeah, as of now, that's it. Uh, most importantly, tell your girl that Scotty Karate's open.